And that hopeful spirit carried through as a community continued the daunting task of cleaning up. News 9's Dan Stein has more on how neighbors are helping neighbors. With more than 100 homes and businesses damaged or destroyed, the cleanup ahead is massive. But as some recalled how quickly the storm hit, the help from each other came even faster. Our 4-H, though, we all got together and we made barbecue sandwiches for all the people that are helping out clean up or like the linemen, for example, helping all of our electricity get back on. Really normal for like the schools and families to get together to help out the whole community. News 9 spoke with residents about the terrifying moments ahead of, during and after the storm. It didn't sound like a freight train like everybody says. Robert Chapnick says instead, he heard wind and breaking glass from the windows inside his house. The power went out, and then it got quiet, and it was gone. Leaving destruction behind. I've got shingles tore off, trees down, windows blown out, and some crepe myrtles down on the other side. But he says he's one of the lucky ones. The people across the street, there's three houses that are totally destroyed trees down. You can see the rubble scattered throughout the city of Idabel, from uprooted trees to leveled homes and businesses. Linemen worked nonstop to restore power to the city, while neighbors helped each other bag up mountains of debris. The aftermath left Addison Farley with feelings of uncertainty. Nervous, scared okay. for our community mainly, because we don't know what's going to happen next. Addison says she spent the day with her classmates and teachers, handing out food and water, and even helping with a trailer to haul off debris, displaying the Oklahoma standard. As for the debris, McCurtain County Emergency Management is asking residents for now to push it to the curb. They are working to get a DEQ dump site approved this week. Deanne Stein, Oklahoma Zone, News 9.